Hello, welcome to educator.com. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering logo types. And uh, there's really basically only two logo types that we're going to be covering. Uh, they're the most commonly used uh, logo types that you will probably see and, and hopefully un understand the distinguishing uh, trades of, trademarks of them. So first we're going to understand, uh, we're going to talk about the icon logo, and then we're going to talk about the text-based logo. And then we're going to go into uh, learn how to choose which type of logo you, you really want for your, your design. And then as well as uh, we're going to go into uh, Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to show you how I created the logo so you have some concept of understanding of what other applications out there that they can help you um, put all the pieces together. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show, show you what we're ultimately going to get at here is that I did a lot of my graphics with um, uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, but this particular logo here um, I did with um, Illustrator. And the reason why I did it is because it's a vector-based graphic program. And um, what that basically means is, is uh, the, it's a lot smoother. The design really, um, doesn't break apart and pixelate. You know anything about pixelation, it has a tendency to, um, in other words, the pixelation might show an, an image um, as it's going together at these squares, and it's not as smooth going around. When you have vectors, you have these circles that are really small, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to create a smoother uh, edge line to everything, where this is still uh, what, we can, what we call raster. It's a raster based image, uh, imagery that you create in Photoshop. So this is why there's, there's two different types of um, things that you can use um, in Illustrator and in Photoshop. But first, we're going to go into logo types first. So a text-based logo um, is really, uh, it's, it's, to, to put it simply, it's just like typography. Um, design creatively with color and then design um, maybe with some type of play on imagery uh, with the text, with the tech typography. So uh, we'll show, I have some examples I'll show in a second. An icon-based logo is, um, icon or image-based logo is like text with imagery. So where it's really clear um, on what things are. So let's go to the next slide. And so here's, here's some examples of what text-based logo could look like. Um, so it's really just a typography. It's very really distinguishable. Um, this right here is just a, a play. They, they played a little bit with it to give it some more, um, some more feeling and to have, have the wavy lines. And it's a trademark of, of them now. And every time you see that red or see that logo, you think of Coca Cola. I remember driving off the freeway and I saw uh, some uh, logo off the freeway that had used a similar uh, used a similar font here, and I know it didn't say Coca Cola, but it definitely reminded me of Coca Cola. So definitely, the power and imagery of what how you use test -based logos can be very effective as well. Um, here is an example of where they play with the typography a little bit. You know, it's not really imagery, but you kind of have this, uh, it's not just words and two different colors. They actually just did a little bit extra um, just to kind of give it that, that feel of uh, safe harbor. The FedEx logo has been around for a while, um, and here is, he, the designer that designed this, you know, kept, went through a lot of different examples of how he was going to do this. And they uh, he basically you know he played with the words here to give you this this arrow and a lot of people don't realize that it's an arrow there but actually you know if, you, if you've been through this uh through logos before you probably have noticed it but this play on words and using the right text the font um it was able to create this and that logo has been around it's been around for a while so this is just a a solid you know simple plain as possible to be but it has it had imagery in there just by using um, the spacing of the typography okay icon based logos or icon logos um, is a little bit more it's gonna have a little bit more imagery through it so you know obviously this is this is some imagery that's gonna go with 
with the um, actual typography of what it, what it is, Walt Disney, really famous for for the castle, and um, and here the this this image here, this logo here is basically you know it's just a little play that can even be considered pretty borderline to um, you know a text-based logo if they really just wanted to add this P into right here and substitute it. Um, they could have did that too, and, and it could have been that play on uh, imagery. They're still using um, typography. So there's some examples. Um, there's definitely a lot of good examples out there. You can just Google, you know, text-based logos or or, um, or icon-based logos, and it'll give you a, a, a whole mess of them. Here, we chose to do, um, we use a little bit of imagery with um, typography, and we played off the 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 words a little bit and how to get a little bit playful because it is a kid's website and we definitely wanted to make sure that um, you know it was still playful but again had that serious tone to what these are um, so that that's pretty much what you're you're seeing right here is is the is the logo we went with and we were able to incorporate it um, back into the website right here and um, that was the main the main thing, the main draw that I wanted people to see first, um, we tend to read um, from left to right, uh, top to bottom. So right here, it's up in the upper left-hand corner, and and hopefully they they get to read the site the way I was how I wanted them and intended for them to read it. But it also has the line and spacing and curvatures to basically take you down um, the. Um, navigation here and that's pretty much uh, some theory behind that um, you know the you know you can research a lot of, of what, how people read things and it goes back to the whole psychology of things and color and everything it's all plays together so you can kind of see how we're putting all the pieces together and hopefully it makes sense but uh, that's that's pretty much where we did with the logo and why we chose uh, certain things next we're gonna go into how did I create it how did I actually do this um, Taking, uh, I took some imagery and I actually made um, the logo out of it.